As sleep is an essential part of a normal and healthy growing individual it should be regarded with some respect. Sleep helps the body to rejuvenate adequately, so that the daily challenges will be better handled. However at this point it is not completely known how the actual sleep state can be accurately and precisely explained in its physiologically phenomenon state. Though thought to be a rather passive state of being it is now known to have a very dynamic process whereas brain does not at any time really shut down complete and instead does perform several unseen functions within this state, thus at dominant importance. Basically sleep states can be categorized into different stages such as NREM which is non-rapid eye movement and REM which is rapid eye movement. This then can be broken down even further into other connective categories. It is interesting to note that the sleep cycle experiences several stages in succession over and over again throughout one sleep session and this could take up to about an hour and a half each time. Ideally one should always try to get some level of deep sleep whenever possible through the sleep exercise as this will ensure a better and more refreshed state upon awakening. Some more detrimental effects of lack of sleep have been documented as having a weaker immune system, lower while blood cell count, decrease in the release of growth hormones, heart rate variability and a host of other problems. For a lot of people today sleep is something that is always last to be considered. Generally especially the younger generation think that sleep is not really important and definitely a waste of their precious time. However it should be noted that generally when such individuals do attempt to get some sleep it is often very difficult to wake them up. However the importance of sleep should not be discounted and working out the elements that are causing the lack of sleep or the inability to get proper sleep would be most beneficial. Ironically the huge number of individuals do experience some form of sleep deprivation and its negative effects fairly often though, there are times when this comes about without the actual realization of its occurrence. Some may explain it as sleep homeostasis which generally implies that the more sleep an individual is able to experience the less likelihood of the individual nodding off to sleep at the slightest opportunity and the more there is loss of sleep the more significant the need to sleep will be. There are several possibilities why this may occur and some of them are too many distractions, non-conducive environment, high stress levels, too many things that need immediate attention and the list is never ending. There are several types of goal setting exercises that can be adopted to suit the need of sleeping. These goals will vary greatly from one person to another, so there is a need to define what your goals are as an individual within the realm of sleep. When this is successfully done then the identification of the necessary elements that will produce the desired results can then be designed. What is the point family goals are a very powerful way to build trust, communication, togetherness and many other positive elements. It's also a good way to encouraging children to learn how to set goals within their own little worlds. Here are some recommendations that can be followed in the pursuit to identifying and setting goals. The exercise of setting goals should be done with the participation of every family member. This participation should be active rather than passive and age should not be a deterrent. Younger children can sometimes be surprisingly insightful and can come up with very workable solutions to a particular goal. Limiting the amount of goals the family has to work with is also advised. When there is too much going on, there will be very little concentrated focus on actually making a success of the goal and its eventual positive results. Identifying and setting the goals should not be limited to any particular time of the year or phase in a family member's life. These exercises should be done if and when necessary and as a spontaneous fashion to ensure there is not threatening feelings arising. Setting up an incentive plan within the goal-setting exercise will also encourage maximum participation and results of all the family members. Sometimes it may be necessary to set a time frame for the intended goal set. This is to ensure some results can be forthcoming rather than constant procrastination.